Hey guys, this is Blue Eddy Support, a knowledge base to help you have a better experience with Blue Eddy. And today, we're checking out the Blue Eddy EP500 Pro. As one of Blue Eddy's most powerful solar power stations, EP500 Pro powers your whole house during blackouts and is flexible enough to move around thanks to two fixed casters in the front and two flexible casters in the back. There will be an AC charging cable, PV charging cable, user manual, and warranty card along with the EP500 Pro in the box. You can also purchase other useful accessories on our official website, blueeddypower.com. For example, a split phase box pro and AC charging cable to build a split phase system, T500 500 watt adapter, lead acid battery charging cable, car charging cable to charge EP500 Pro in multiple ways. Maybe you need a 12 volt 30 amp RV cable to charge your EV off the grid. The D300S steps down the voltage of your roof or rigid solar panels and the sub-panel is used to integrate EP500 Pro to your home circuit. The EP500 Pro can run a 700 watt refrigerator for 2.3 days, an 8000 BTU air conditioner for 1.6 hours, and a 1000 watt microwave oven for 4.2 hours. Here are the power button and touch screen. For AC output, EP500 Pro has one L14-30 30 amp receptacle and four standard 20 amp receptacles. For DC output, EP500 Pro features 10 different DC outlets, a 30 amp RV port, a cigarette lighter port, two DC5521 ports, two USB-C ports, two USB-A ports for fast charging, and two standard USB-A ports. EP500 Pro even provides two wireless charging pads. That's impressive. There are two charging ports here for AC input and PV input. The communication interface is for binding use. Its main switch is in the back. Also, you can long press the power button to start up the EP500 Pro. You can also monitor and control EP500 Pro via its touchscreen or the Blue Eddy app. Tap the AC off icon and select on to enable AC output. EP500 Pro supports four UPS functions, including standard, time control, PV priority, and customized UPS. Standard UPS, default working mode, offline mode. PV priority UPS, recommended for areas where the power supply is stable. Time control mode, suitable for areas with time of use power pricing to save money. Customized mode, specifically set your own UPS to meet your unique needs. Tap the DC off icon and select on to enable DC output. For wireless charging, just place the enabled devices like your phone right on the center of the pad. Let's move on to the next part and learn how to control EP500 Pro with your phone. You can download the Blue Eddy app from the App Store or Google Play. Then enable Bluetooth or Wi-Fi function on EP500 Pro. Open the Blue Eddy app and tap Login to register an account. Scan the QR code on the EP500 Pro after registration and fill in the 2.4G Wi-Fi passwords. Tap Connect and select your EP500 Pro's serial number. You can check or adjust the working mode and more after completing the connection. Tap AC to enable AC output. The same goes for DC output. Tap setting to change EP500 Pro's working mode, system language, voltage, frequency, current, UPS on grid mode, and date time. Etc. Tap battery information here to view the real-time working status 
of the EP500 Pro battery pack. Inverter and charger info shows detailed information about PV charging, adapter charging, DC output, and AC output. Tap PV input to see the PV input power. You can charge EP500 Pro by solar, car, and lead acid battery. Notably, it supports AC and DC input simultaneously. AC charging. Charge EP500 Pro via wall outlet with an AC charging cable. Connect solar panels in series or parallel to EP500 Pro with a solar charging cable. Select PV as DC1 and DC2 input source. Car charging. Plug a DC input cable into the EP500 Pro's DC port, then connect its MC4 connector with a car charging cable and plug it in to your car's cigarette lighter port. Set others as DC input source. Lead acid battery charging resembles car charging and uses the same settings and the same DC input cable. The only difference is these lead acid battery cables. For other charging methods, you need extra accessories which are sold on our site. You can check out the details here and I'll put the link in the description too. That's all for today. Please follow us for more videos and let me know if you have any questions or ideas. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.